Navy's newest big moves revealing major trouble for ships based out of San Diego and Coronado. And 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins is live in the newsroom. And Hannah, so the commander of Naval Surface Forces orders a stand down for crews on all littoral combat ships. What's going on? Well, he did. This is the release. It says they're going to retrain every sailor involved in engineering on those ships. Problems have been plaguing littoral combat ships. It started in December. The USS Milwaukee had just been commissioned. It was headed to its home port in San Diego when engine trouble sidelined it. The next month, the USS Fort Worth was in Southeast Asia. Something damaged the engine's gearing system. It's headed back to San Diego for repairs. Then in July, a seawater leak triggered an engine failure in the USS Freedom. The crippled ship worked its way back into Naval Base San Diego. I found out the USS Coronado, which is also homeported here, was supposed to replace the Fort Worth. But last week, an engine failure left it limping back to Pearl Harbor. The new class of warships is supposed to be smaller, faster, and smarter. But in a matter of months, four of six LCSs in service have fallen short. The training and testing should be completed in 30 days. Hannah Mullins, 10 News.